Oh, hey! Gave you a little startle, didn't you? My name's Kino Manny, and today we're going for our geological safari in UP de la Man. What are you waiting for? Let's go! So today, we'll be talking about how geology affects us in our everyday lives. Geology, as we know it, is on the roads we walk on, the things we eat, heck, even the phones we use. So, to find more about it, we're going to Kasana. Let's go! Now, I'll be looking for what they call the Kasana Food Center. Here, I will be asking these people called concessionaires to see how much they know about the vital nutrients and the daily food that we eat. Ate, what is the nutritional content of your food? Crikey! So these, this food is what people call adobo flakes. Now this food is jam-packed with minerals that our body needs, called essential nutrients. Much like how calcium is good for our bones and iron for our blood. Mmm, delicious. Now, it isn't only in health that we see geology. Let's make our way to Vargas Museum and see how it is in art. Let's go. While on the way there, I took a special interest on the water I saw. Let's take a close look. Did, did you know that our water here on Earth is mostly like this water here? Basically undrinkable. Now, come with me, come with me. Only 1% of the water found in the Earth is actually drinkable to us humans. <laughs> Definitely refreshing. Makes us wonder how we use our water, huh? Let's go. <laughs> now, we are on our way to find what they call chicken feet in UP de la Mer. People don't really consider this, but geology can be also used for art. Now what we have here is a very important archaeological artifact found in UP de la Mer. This is called chicken feet. Now this sculpture is actually made from different types of rocks sculpted to what you see right now. Now, there are many different sculptures found in Yupi Dilman. And it just is a representation of the art and culture we have in our country. Magnificent, ain't it? Now, in the Philippines, it isn't usually sunny like this. We live in a tropical area. So, in this season, it's usually raining with huge amounts of water. Now, <laughs> Let's see if we can interact with other human hu human beings in UP Dillard Man and ask them how they act during rainfall. Next stop, Vincent. Let's go. Now I'm on my way to find what they call the typical Filipino commuter. This right here is Mark. Mark. So Mark. How do you deal with the rain when you go commuting? I buy an umbrella. Crikey! This is all we have for today. Till next time on our ecological safari. This is Kino Manny, back to you. Till next time.